Hey guys, it's me, Blue. Um, so a lot of stuff is going on. First of all, of course, the uh, ever-popular PSL. <laughs> and the best part about being in Canada is nobody questions when you give them the French name because they're just like, yeah, your French parents probably named you Fleur, and that's okay. <laughs> so just like, anyway, that being said, um, I do have a little bit of a TBR and I have also another <laughs> I know I just because I'm extra but like this one has my real name on it and you don't need to see my real name so this is what my library is doing for the readathon I've already read two books already finished two books in October do 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 and I'm super excited about the whole thing. Every time I turn around, something new coat is coming up. I know it's falling on the floor. I'm not even going to bother. It's going to sit there. But I just thought I'd share a little bit of what uh, I'm reading this week, this weekend. And uh, But first and foremost, I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian friends. I'm super excited to be spending this weekend with my family. We're hopefully going to probably go for Chinese on Sunday, which seems like you should be spending, you know, Thanksgiving with turkey and but we eat turkey all the time. We eat chicken all the time. I don't eat pork. Sorry. <laughs> so I can't, we, we don't do the ham and scallop potatoes thing. We don't do the turkey thing. It's just not that big a deal to us. So we, and it's, we are thankful every day. So we're gonna go be thankful with Chinese. I don't know what else to do. So that being said, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm reading this weekend. Again, still, it's such a good book. I love hearing their stories. I'm super excited because now I'm like about three quarters of the way through it. But it's 600 pages long, so it is not a short read. Like it's it's a powerful read, but it's not a short read. So I'm excited to be working on that. I'm hopefully going to finish that tomorrow. That's top of my list to finish. I really want to finish this one. The other ones that I got this weekend were because I have to A for the list that is on the floor. I need yellow. Done. I need a sequel, which is this one, but I also need a book that is in the Dorothy Must Die series. And since I've read Dorothy Must Die, and the Wicked Must Rise, this is the third one in the series, so I'm super excited to get through that one. And these are really quick for me because I am really wrapped up in the whole uh, kind of story of it. I grew up with Wizard of Oz, I grew up with Return to Oz, which is much, much creepier, and I love Feruza Balk. I think she is so cute in that movie, and that she grew up into this fantastic actress. And then she went on to play in the craft and so I just love her I think she's just sweet she reminds me a lot of like physically she looks like my sister so I kind of <laughs> every time I watch it I'm like oh, that's my sister so I'm super excited about that and because I really like the series and I like the darker side of the series that I really like the spin that that uh that Danielle Page has put on this so I'm really I'm, I'm excited to be reading that one and that should be a quick read so I'll probably have that one done this weekend other one I need to read a sport book for my um, pop sugar reading challenge again another reading challenge why not so I get to read Bear Town by Frederick Bachman and I loved 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 a man called Ova and I am so excited to be reading this one because I think a man called Ova is probably the best book I've ever read next to my favorite a birth house and so I'm super excited to read another one of his and this one apparently has a sport in it I couldn't tell you what it is so I'm just recommend oh hockey hockey and I shall hockey so this one is about hockey <laughs> it's much easier when you just dive into a book and don't know anything about it and this one I know it's by Frederick Backman and that I've enjoyed another book by him and hopefully I'll enjoy this one so that one, it is probably not a short read, just based on the fact that it is like 400 pages long, but it is, and tiny writing, but I'm, I'm excited to be reading that one, of course. And 
remember how I told you that I had a chance to go to the second hand store and I didn't buy any books? I got to go back to the second hand store and this was one of the books and now I'm really mad because I waited for this one for three weeks and I could have just bought it. That being said, I did get some more books. <laughs> so these have both been recommended to me and I'm super excited by them because they're books that I wanted to read for a long time. So this is The 19th Wife by uh, David Ebershoff and I'm super, I'm, I say super excited a lot. I'm gonna have to find some synonyms for that but for now I'm super excited to own this one because it has been recommended to me and I kind of, you know, the theme is, the subject matter isn't something that's really been on my radar ever and so the fact that like I saw it and I was like, oh, I really wanted that one. Somebody had seen that, somebody recommended that one. I had to get that one and so I can you know, own it. This is the other one <laughs> that I was recommended, The Girl on the Train and it reminded me a little bit of like just the description of it reminded me a little bit of Rear Window or of The Woman in the Window. I think that's what it's called. Yes, The Woman in the Window and about how they kind of watch something happen from a distance and then they get involved and like so she kind of watches things happen on the train and she doesn't really get involved in anything until something happens and then she's suddenly like <gasps> and then she gets involved and so it doesn't always end well. <laughs> In most cases, it doesn't. Rear Window didn't end well. Disturbia, whatever. I think that's what it was. The movie based on Rear Window. And then, again, with uh, Woman in the Window. Not going to tell you the ending because it's so good. But it's, again, someone who sees something happening from a distance, gets involved, doesn't really go in their favor at first. So, this is one that I've kind of been wanting to read so I'm kind of excited I'll have to see how it works out and apparently it's been made into a movie you now a major motion picture is this the movie cover or is this the actual book cover can anyone tell me if you know can you leave a comment below because I honestly don't know I don't even remember the movie being made so this was a book that was recommended to me so I'm super excited those are mine now these are mine now my books so I've had a heck of a long day, so this is going to be a, probably a much shorter video. Monday, I am hoping to record something a little darker, <laughs> not darker, but a little kind of spookier. I'm excited to kind of be getting into the Louboutin. I didn't get to decorate my shelf because I don't live in a town where I can decorate, <laughs> where I can actually readily get Halloween decorations. So now that I own decorations, I am A, going to decorate, I am B, going to like videotape and spooky, spooky locations so I'm super excited to just have fun with that and the rest of the booth on and so I have books to read I have groceries to put away I have other readathons that I get to fill in in my book it has been a very long day so I'm gonna say good night if you like this video or if you've read any of the books, I'd love to find out if you have any recommendations or any ideas on, like, did you watch the movie? Did you read the book? Have you read anything else with this kind of subject matter? If you read it, uh, it talks a little bit about polygamy. So if you read anything with that, I'd love to hear about it. If you read A Man Called Ova, you know, tell us why it's your favorite book. And if it isn't, tell us why you're wrong. <laughs> that being said, I would love to have you like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to ring that bell. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, that's it for me. Knowledge is power. Have a great weekend. Support your local library. And we'll see you on Monday. Bye.